moving on from that one, let's move on from that and let's talk a little bit about Supreme. So Supreme 30th anniversary is happening. Obviously, some of you guys know I'm going to buy the box set. It's a free volume box set um, of T-shirts from Supreme's founding in 1994 up until 2024 of every single T-shirt Supreme have made from long sleeve to T-shirts. Every single graphic will be in that book. It's going to be a tome. It's going to be, I think, $168 or something. And I'm going to buy all three volumes, of course. I think, no, you can only buy it as a free volume anyway. In conjunction with that, Supreme are also going to release a T-shirt and the T-shirt that they've designed, according to Supreme Drops, Big Up Supreme Drops on Twitter and other social media places, they've um, got the pictures of the 30th anniversary T-shirt and it's a, basically a T-shirt within a T-shirt. It features the first ever T-shirt Supreme ever designed printed on a white Supreme tee. The blurb, Supreme 30th anniversary first tee releasing this week will be available in white, black, khaki, 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 navy and red, Design pays homage to the very first Supreme tee ever made, which was signed in 1994 by over 100 skaters, artists, friends, and Supreme crew back then. The original tee, without the signatures on it, was released in 1994, as said, and then reduced an unofficial authorization from Columbia Pictures to use in Taxi Driver's image. So as you can see from the image available in the Supreme Drops Instagram, or sorry, Twitter, you have a you know a white t-shirt with also the print of the t-shirt on it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, there's been some people online who don't really like this design. They feel like it's lazy. They feel like maybe the Supreme 30th design should have been something more substantial. Maybe they were looking forward to a box logo that might have featured the old store design in the background, the box logo, whatever they was expecting. I think a lot of Supreme fans are a bit upset that the 30th anniversary tee isn't more substantial than this. The only thing that could have been done a bit differently, I think, if I was designing it, would have maybe to have done maybe a, a re, maybe just re, maybe just done a copy of the actual signed one. So just make the tee and, you know, obviously with the print of all the signatures on it. Or sell two different ones. One with signatures like a friends and family and maybe one plain that people can then get signed if they want to at their local store and shit. That might have worked. But I quite like this. I think that looks pretty cool. That is like a piece of Supreme history. So you've got you've got the you've got the mix. You've got a t shirt on the front, the print that features a t shirt from nineteen ninety four. And then you've also got the t shirt it's printed on, that's from two thousand four. So you kinda of got a double you know, a double tribute kind of piece there going on. So I'm not really mad at it in the slightest. I'm not really too sure what people were expecting, but I actually don't mind it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's also available in red, obviously. You've got the navy, you've got the brown khaki looking, obviously the black. But I actually like it. I'm not going to lie. I really do like it. I know people don't like it. Maybe if you wanted to be extra picky, maybe they could have made the t-shirt way smaller on the, the printed. Maybe you make it the same size proportion as the box logo. That might have been really cool to have like a really small t-shirt in the center of the t-shirt. That might have fucking worked. But overall, I think that's pretty cool and I don't mind it in the slightest. And I definitely will try and get my hands on that when it does eventually end up dropping. And obviously, we've got some more pictures there. I think these are from, maybe this is from the inside of the book. I'm not too sure. But this is like a collage that features images over 30 years of Supreme Store. And when I saw this image, you know what it reminded me of? Back in the day... I think nowadays I'm not really as obsessed with literature from Supreme because I've got quite a bit of it and I've read all the magazines. I've got all the lookbooks and stuff. I've got PDFs of stuff that I already have. But I remember back in the day when I was getting into streetwear the, and obviously skateboarding for the first time, I loved the idea of Supreme and I also loved more so the kind of the people that basically made careers off of being associated with Supreme. Like they're kind of, you know, all the people that have kind of passed through the doors, all the people that work there and done great things. It's pretty crazy. Like how many people have gone on to create amazing brands who have kind of ended up working at Supreme or probably are still there doing their thing. So that's been a pretty cool thing to see this be like an institution, like almost like a, like a training ground for creatives and artists and designers and whatnot, brand people to kind of learn their trade and then go and do other things going forward. And sometimes just like a, as like a litmus test for what's cool and what's not. And it's pretty impressive that they've managed to do that throughout the years because even though Stussy have kind of come back nowadays and Stussy are definitely a force to be reckoned with when it comes to, you know, consistently dropping amazing streetwear collections, I don't think Stussy really cares about being cool. They just care about making great clothes. But Supreme have managed to care about being cool while still being cool, which is very hard to do. Maybe nowadays some would argue Supreme isn't as cool anymore. It's too corny. Loads of kids wear it. 
but it's still got a little bit of that cachet. It's still got a bit of that je ne sais quoi. It's still got a bit of that star power, that sprinkle. Whenever a store launch happens, everyone's there. When there's a book released, everyone wants to get what well, everyone wants to be seen at the store, like in a good way. People want to be friends with the fucking sales assistants. I'm sure they get a lot of people begging for discounts. Like it's one of those places that has remained quite, you know, well regarded in the culture, despite it becoming extremely, you know, omnipresent, extremely popular. Um, to the point where some people maybe think it sold out, especially since it got that big cash injection. But I think they've maintained a level of core that's very hard to do over the years. And that really does need to be kind of praised and recognized. Obviously, continuing on with the core, they also had a launch for the actual Supreme 30th anniversary book the other day, I think in New York. It's probably like a little pop-up event they usually had here, I can see. Um, obviously, you've got the cover of the book that obviously I spoke about previously. You've got a picture of the outside of the place, Big Up Zainab as well, out there stunting. Um, so yeah, they've got the, the little pop-up, I think, I guess, exhibition thing going on there. They've covered all the walls as well with all the t-shirt designs. It kind of reminds me a little bit, this little, you know, activation they've got for the Supreme book. It reminds me back in the day, Aaron Bondaroff from a New York thing, also part of like downtown New York scene. He did this, he did this thing for a book that I got somewhere. It's like a t-shirt book, My Life in T-Shirts. Aaron Bondroff did a thing, an exhibition. Let me see if I can find the picture. So Aaron Bondroff, who launched a New York thing, who used to work for Supreme, had this, had this, you know, exhibition. And I think he had this thing, I think it was called My Life in T-Shirts. And he had all, he had basically the pages of the book printed on T-Shirts. And I think he had them all hanged up in the shop as well. Let's see if I can find it. My Life, let's do this on here. My Life in T-Shirts. It was a cool little exhibition. So that Supreme thing kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Oh, I don't have it. Okay, cool. We have the book, which I have. It's, it's almost like an all biography of Aaron Bondroff. But he also did an exhibition of it inside the store. It was like an exhibition. Let me see if I can get the bit. Maybe the, the, maybe the pictures aren't on the internet anymore. That would be annoying if true. Yeah, we don't have it. But it was, it was if I remember correctly, it was he basically had these T-shirts with all these different quotes you know, from the book or pages printed on the t-shirts and then the t-shirts were all kind of hanged up around the shop itself. So you got to kind of read the book as you were kind of going around the store. It was quite a little cool idea. So when I see this Supreme pop-up event for this book, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that, how they've got all the t-shirts printed all over the walls, like kind of wallpaper. I wonder if they'll end up selling this. I'm sure some kids would love this. If they sold this as wallpaper, I'm sure some kids would buy it or maybe they're going to sell them as posters or something, but it looks pretty cool. Obviously you've got the pictures of the, of the book itself, three volumes available there, volume one, volume two of the Supreme t-shirts, every single one designed. I wonder if they'll go as far as doing like every other piece. Will they do like outerwear as well? I wonder if they'll go and do that as well. But there's some pictures here. You've got the War Pigs t-shirt with the Black Sabbath on the back as well. Nice to see. So I think, you know what's mad? Maybe do, do they feature the front and the back of each t-shirt? That's that's a lot of fuck. No wonder it's three volumes. So this is the front. That's the back. So every T-shirt they've ever designed, if it's got a back print, you're gonna have it on a separate page. That's a lot of fucking paper. That's a lot of ink. God damn it! That must have cost an arm and a leg to print. And of course, this is everybody outside at the store events. I used to love doing these things. Not so much anymore these days. Standing outside, drinking some bevies, free drinks, whatever. I'm not sure if it's liquid. I'm not sure who they're sponsored by. I don't know what that brand is, but they're sponsored by somebody. You usually get some free drinks. You stand outside, you chit chat, look at people's trainers, judge everybody. But yeah, and there's obviously the wallpaper and the books themselves going forward. So yeah, I can't wait to see what that looks like going in. I'm definitely going to get my hands on that. One way or the other, I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on it one way or another. I do not care. I absolutely do not care.